This system is the lactic system. The lactic system is one that we use between 10 seconds and 3 minutes, but it peaks at 1 minute. This is the system that produces lactic acid that gives us that burning sensation and therefore inhibits our performance. Really good for things like 400 meter sprints and 800 meters. I'm still all alone. Here we can see the lactic acid system in action. The lactic acid system produces energy reasonably quickly, but its problem is that it does provide us with lactic acid, which gives us that burning sensation and inhibits our performance, meaning we can only use it for a certain period of time. Some athletes can withstand the effects of lactic acid better, that's our lactate tolerance, and fitter athletes have a higher lactate threshold, meaning they can remove lactic acid quickly and efficiently to keep working out. There are several types of training I can do to improve my lactic system. One of them would be long interval training. So for example, I would do 300 meter sprints with a 30 second rest and repeat that six or seven times. I can also do circuit training, such as doing burpees, as you can see in the video clip, press ups, chin ups, squat jumps, lunge jumps, and combine those together into a circuit. Key thing is, is to make sure I'm working for longer than 30 seconds, but no more than four or five minutes. Otherwise, I'm going to go into that aerobic system and not be stressing the lactic system. It's really important I work at that lactic threshold, that point at which I feel that burning sensation in order to try and improve my tolerance to it and my ability to continue to remove lactic acid.